Hey everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be comparing and contrasting two different shades of the NARS Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder. I've got those two different shades and we are going to see what they look like. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then please keep on watching. So I've got two different shades. I have Creek and I have Sunshore. So they are both 0.31 ounces or nine grams. The little jar opening symbol on it says 24 months. So that is nice. And this is what they look like. So this is Creek and this is Sunshore. So I think this one is, looks like it would be good as an all over face powder. This one looks like it might be better as an under eye powder. Uh, we shall see, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch them on my under eyes because that's where the most amount of darkness is. So we'll be able to see their brightening capabilities. And we'll be using a powder puff I will use a different powder puff on each side, of course. And we are going to start with the left side. And on the left side, I'm going to put Creek. So I'm gonna dip my powder puff in there. I'm gonna rub a little on the back of my hand just to make sure that everything is distributed evenly. I'm going to flick it into the air um, to disperse any extra powder because we don't want too much powder underneath the eye. We want just enough to set our makeup, not enough to create creasing, cakiness, creepiness, dryness, all of those horrible things that we do not want. So let's go ahead and put some underneath our eyes and let's go ahead and hopefully watch as it brightens. Not bad. Not bad. Slightly brighter, slightly brighter. Now I've got another puff for the other side. We have the Sunshore shade. And I'm going to apply it the exact same way. I'm going to flick off the excess from my puff. And we're going to, yep, right there, you can see the darkness. And let's see how well that does anything as far as brightening versus covering. Alrighty, so there we go. So I think that the left side is going to look better if you are setting concealer. I think the right one would look better if you're setting your whole face or, you know, if you're going to do a mix and match sort of a situation because you're highlighting different areas of your face, maybe use the lighter one for setting those areas uh, so that they're brighter. And then the more skin color one for setting the perimeter of your face or, you know, blending your bronzer contour, etc. However, I do think that either one could work. Um, however, that being said, you know, keep in mind that pressed powders typically aren't the best for setting underneath your eye just because the formula, although it can work underneath your eye, I'm not saying it can't work, the loose powders tend to be lighter and fluffier since they are not pressed and compacted ergo leaving less cakiness, less dryness, less creasing uh, or cra cracking crepiness underneath your eyes. Uh, however, I do think both of these look good. So if you're the same shade as me, you know, I am Stromboli medium three, you'd be able to use either one of these powders for either purpose, just depending on what kind of a look you're going for. If you want more of a brightening effect, go with Creek. If you want more of a true to your facial color, uh, I might stick with the Sunshore. However, things are going to look different when you are layering products on top of each other. Uh, I am doing these tests on a bare face 
because I want to show you what the true base color is because depending on what products I layer underneath, it's going to change how this powder looks when I put it on my face. So depending on what foundation I use, what setting spray, how I prep my skin, etc. So you're not going to get the true color and effect of the powder if I'm layering different products every single time. However, if you would like to see what my normal makeup routine is, or uh, maybe, you know, combining all the NARS face products together, uh, and I can compare the face powders that way, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know what to do. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Happy 2024. I love you all. Have a great one.